very excited today because in a few hours I'll be headed over to Lime Creek Brewery and I'm making them some bread today with their pecan amber ale and I'm thinking it's going to be good. I hope they like it. They'll like it. I hope they like it. Who wouldn't like bread made with beer? Looks good. Let's get going. I'm gonna hop on my Vespa. <laughs> I am here! There it is! Ciao Michi, Christina here. I am with Spencer at Lime Creek Brewery. Spencer, what is your role here? Uh, I'm the head brewer here at Lime Creek Brewing Company. For the most part, I, I do a lot of the brewing. I do all the recipe development. I was curious about the recipe development. How do you develop your beer recipes? Uh, it really just comes from experience. It's, it's a lot like cooking where you just have a ton of different ingredients and you just make a you know you just mix them up and it, and it creates a recipe. And how did you get plugged into the beer business? I began as a home brewer I was just making beer at home uh, and then uh, five years ago six years ago I had moved to England and there I got a job as an apprentice uh, working at a brewery and um, they I volunteered my time I basically worked for free to learn the craft of, of brewing a few years of doing that, being a brewer in England, I, I came here and uh, been a brewer at Lime Creek since then. How much beer are you currently brewing back there? So our system is a 30 barrel system and a barrel is about 31 gallons. So we're looking at 900 to 1,000 gallons per brew. We're currently brewing two to three times per week, especially right now during COVID, but Outside of that, we could be producing four or five times a week. It's a lot of beer. <laughs> okay, <great. laughs> what type of beer do you make? Here at Lime Creek, we brew all types of beers. We go everything from your standard American lagers to German style lagers to IPAs to sour beers to barrel aged beers. Um, we, we make it all. We, we love to experiment. What do you think is special about the beer at Lime Creek versus the beer that you get in the store? Uh, I would say quality. I spend a lot of time sourcing my ingredients and I try to pick out the, the best ingredients that, that I can. We make sure that, that everything is done correctly and we're not taking shortcuts. We're constantly focused on producing the best beer that we can make and I think that's what sets us apart from, from everybody else. How do you find your sources? So there are a couple ingredient suppliers. A lot of it is just me trying ingredients. So I physically taste everything that I put in the beer, every single time. And I know it sounds like a lot, but uh, I, no, I so do. So do I, because I cook, and <laughs> right. so I taste everything too. Yeah. So even if it's a brand that I've used before, I'm still tasting it every single day just to make sure that it's, it's exactly what I want for the beer. The main four ingredients in beer are water, malt, yeast and hops. So basically it's bread with hops. I taste the water to make sure there's no uh, chlorine or anything like that in it. I'm also tasting the malt. So we use barley, we use wheat, we use rye, we use corn and hops. Uh, what have you been during the pandemic to get people to come to the brewery? We've expanded our outdoor area. We've added a lot more picnic tables. We have uh, a large uh, area where people can sit outside. We're allowing people to bring, if you want to bring your own chairs or picnic blanket, you can, you can sit outside and, and do that. We also offer more of our beer to go. So if you don't feel comfortable with the brewery setting itself, you can get uh, any of our beers in cans. And then we've recently got a crowler machine, which is basically a giant can that will fill up fresh from the tap and you can take any of our beers from the tap home with you. For the moment we've all been waiting for, could you please take me on a tour of your brewery? Of course. Thank you so much. Here we go. Hey, hey everybody. Uh, this is our brew stand. Um, and so now we'll go through the process of how to make beer. Beer, uh, as I've said before, it, it starts out with four ingredients. So you have water, malt, 
hops, and yeast. So we'll start with the malt. So up in that room, uh, up top, we have a mill. And so we have the whole grains that go into the mill and they turn into, into kind of a, a flour. Uh, not that fine, but, but flour and husk. It is over into that hopper. And then it goes down into that middle vessel, which is called our mash tun. Now in a mash tun, we mix the malt with uh, our second ingredient, water. Uh, and there it's heated up. You can think of this as a, a porridge, like that's the consistency. And you could probably eat it like porridge if, if you wanted to. So in the mash vessel, that is where all of our malt is then converted into sugar. From there, it's moved over to this vessel here, which is known as the louder ton. And you can think of it as a giant sieve. So it has a grate at the bottom and we're draining the liquid off of the grain. So the grain stays inside of there and all the liquid is then moved into our third vessel, which is known as our boiling kettle. So from there, the liquid is boiled and we add hops. So hops add the bitterness, they add some flavor, they add aroma. And depending on the style of beer, depends on the type of hops and the amount of hops that we're using. We're getting the, the bitterness out of the hops, but we're also uh, sanitizing the beer. Uh, so it's killing all the microbes that are currently, would naturally be in it, which is why it's probably one of the first liquids that people were drinking is because it was safe to drink because nothing can, can live in it. So from there, it's cooled down through our heat exchanger. So we push water through one end and beer throughout the other and the cold water cools the warm beer. From there, it's moved to the, our fermenters. Uh, and these are 30 barrel, which is about a thousand gallons. And then the back ones are 60 barrel, which is about 2,000 gallons. So in there, we also add the yeast. And the yeast is what ferments the beer. It's what converts all that sugar that we make into alcohol and carbon dioxide. So our barrel age <laughs> series is known as Blind Wolf. And I have an English style porter in these barrels. Now these barrels originally were bourbon barrels. And then they were filled with maple syrup, and then the maple syrup was drained and we added our beer into those barrels then. Uh, I will say that because I taste all the ingredients, I tasted the bourbon maple syrup out of these barrels and it is the greatest thing that I have ever tasted in my life. <laughs> yes. Who keeps this all so clean? It is so shiny. I wish my appliances would shine as well. This is called a bright tank. And in a bright tank, the beer is getting bright. It's, it's clearing up any last little bit. And then that's also where we add the carbonation. So we pump CO2 to carbonate the beer. And then it is packaged once it leaves the bright tank. This is our packaging area. So in the background, you can see our canning line. So it fills four cans at a time. We can do about 30 cans a minute. On this side is our kegging manifold. So we will set up four kegs at a time and we can fill four kegs at a time. You guys, this is all beer up there. Oh my gosh. So this is our cooler. This is where we keep all our packaged beer cold. How cold is it in here, Spencer? Uh, it's about 32 to 35 degrees. Here's the bar. This is the good part of the brewery where you get to drink the beer. So I hear you have an Oktoberfest party coming up here on Saturday, October the 3rd. And what is that going to look like? We are moving our party, I guess, outside. So we will have live music, food trucks available. Is there a special beer that you guys have created that you'd like everyone to know about? Yes, so we've made a Fest beer. It's a German style Oktoberfest, kind of a maltier lager that would be very reminiscent of what you would get in Munich during Oktoberfest. Have you ever had 
bread made with beer. As a brewer, I think I've had everything made with beer. <laughs> I made the bread with pecan amber ale, and I would like for you to try it. What do you say? That sounds great. We are, here's the bread. Spencer's just over there. I'm going to cut it now, and I'm hoping that he gives it a good review. We'll see. This is what it looks like inside. We've got the bread, everybody. Here it is. Okay, Spencer. Go I'm ahead. excited. Delicious. I can taste the beer. I can taste the beer. That's so good. Mm -hmm. Pecan Amber Ale for the win. Woohoo! <laughs> Spencer, thank you so much for showing me your brewery, for giving me a tour, for taking me behind the scenes, and for eating my bread. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. If you're in the Peachtree City area on Saturday, October 3rd, make sure to stop by Lime Creek Brewery for their Oktoberfest party. If you have kids, make sure to bring them too because it's a kid-friendly place. I'll put a link to their website below in the description. And make sure to stay tuned for part two of this video where I show you how to make bread with beer. And that one is coming soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our future videos. Ciao, Ciao for now. now.